Hi, I'm Alan Landers, Blender Product Manager for Con Air. And I have the TBT, our smallest blender, in front of us. I'm going to take you through how to drain uh, the materials when you have a process change. Maybe you're changing from you know, a nylon to a PPA or something like that, and you need to drain the hoppers. And it makes use of uh, the keypad where you can open things up. And it also makes use of a, a drain fixture that we have, and I'll step you through that. So what you would do first uh, is you would turn the loader off because you don't want it to refill when you start to drain things. So I've turned that off. So we open it and expose the mixer and the batch hopper. Uh, so to drain it, you remove the batch hopper and install this drain assembly to take its place, which makes the interlock. And lock it in place. bucket here to catch the material. Okay, well, we have our bucket in place and we go to the keypad. We have this warning condition because we did open up the front door and break the interlock. So we tap that and acknowledge that because we have the drain chute in place now that remakes the interlock. So now the alarm is old. We clear that out and then we go to the, the hamburger menu at the top. You go into maintenance manual control, and you open up component three to drain the hopper. And in this case, we're gonna drain component three for the demonstration. So I click on component three and open the valve. So this interlock is made, it's safe, you can't get your hands in there. And you can see through the sight glass, it's draining it out. Now at this point, it's actually below the level of the loader, so you know the loader is empty. And there'll be some residual in here you can sort of tap out. Now if you wanted to, you could open up the component three, you could open up the mixer, which is the valve below the mixer. You can open up uh, the batch hopper. Let's say you wanted to drain it without using the chute. You could just put a pail below the stand. There's a valve that you can open that would allow you just to drain the blender all the way down through the stand by opening up the batch hopper, opening up the component you want to drain and the mixer and drain everything out that way. Um, at this point, I would go ahead and close that valve and you can return this back to its source. And the last step, if you wanted to get every single pellet out, would be to uh, remove these air lines from the component hopper. And pull this pin up. And this toggle here, open that. And then slide the hopper out and dump out the last amount. And then reassemble. our airlines back up. Remove the, remove the drain chute and reinstall the batch hopper. And then you're ready to put your loader onto the next source and refill everything and start up your blender. So that's the idea behind draining a component or the entire blender. Uh, we, we listened to our customers and the users that use it. Uh, we went through uh, some design changes to be sure the loader stays in place while the hopper is removable, which is one of the key features for draining the thing. You don't have any hinge lids or anything like that. It all stays in place and allows you to drain things uh, very simply out the front or all the way out the bottom like I demonstrated. Uh, and then obviously to remove the hopper to get last little bits out. So thank you.